I'm gonna take this down here. Well, what's the point then of... Okay, you can just take us up where to get all the way up here yourself instead of having to platform like I did? Okay. It's a little disappointing, but... Anyways, welcome back to Let's Play... F. Ah. No! Wrong button. Well, that was really a height issue. Huh. Apparently you can do this. It's kind of weird. Ooh, wonderful. No crash jump wasn't actually here. We should probably... Have we gone to that other one? I believe he went down here. I don't think we can stand on this one. Let's just check down here. No bad idea. And the other one... I am fairly certain we went to that one. I can check. One more time just to make sure. Do we not? Ah, you can't jump that way. I want to. Jump higher, or jet pack. I might need another power up to get there. I guess. There's always an easy way of getting there from here. Maybe if I time that, maybe I can do that if I time it better. Oh, it doesn't even open! Game, that is mean. Oh, did it open now? No. I heard a sound. And dramatic music. Get ourselves stuck, get ourselves stuck in interesting places. Interesting. Okay. I wasn't able to jump there in case you're wondering. I also want to use a jetpack for some reason. Well, in any case, I think we're done in this room? Let's head on into the other one that we were able to access. Life just feels so much easier and carefree when I'm not worrying about whether or not I'm picking up all the collectibles of some sort. This also feels like a more convenient way of getting around. Hello. Well, that is interesting. I can't actually stand on this thing. There we go. My jetpack doesn't recharge until I hit the ground. Exploring. It's all in the name of exploration. This is what space is meant to be like. Going places that nobody's gone before. And bald, I guess, too, that too. Oh no! Ah, well, we tried. You're not right. <laughs> Thank you, Wanda. It's helpful. Wow. That's a dramatic little spot to, to nearly fall in. Ah, come on! <laughs> okay. Let's try to do something actually productive. <laughs> That way we can't go. That's where we came from, I think. Let's go this way then. A robot's firing at us. Boom. Fortunately, diving at things has not hurt them. Oh, 
internet. Ah, I see it's not actually Okay. In that case... Please hurt me. No, okay. I don't think it would be bad for the lungs. Is this. Also, no. It's purely graphical in nature. In that case... What's all the pictures of Yuga Batamians here? You'd think they'd all be Vicky. Or maybe Yuga Batamians expressing... Reverence for Vicky. Okay, apparently... There's an instruction manual on the side of this mining machine. I guess I'll just follow the instructions. That's what they always tell you. You drop in the IRC asking, why isn't my Wi-Fi working? And they just tell you, read the manual. And then... You drilled out enough Egonium or whatever it's called to destroy a planet. I'm so happy I'm not wearing out pick up these coins. Ugh. These are in such sparsely populated, annoying looking places. This is not gonna work for me in any capacity. Really? I tried to salvage that and land on something. Close to the The machine. I guess the idea is you go up there, but it's not quite what, what I've been doing. Up and around we go. And up. From here it's a bit more improvised, I feel like. This jetpack doesn't have enough force to it. It doesn't save you in any capacity if you fall. Whoa, what was that? It had some real momentum there. Okay, come on. I like to stand on things. I want I just want to pick up those. This presence. I get the impression that our next ability might be some kind of lateral movement technique, though, so maybe I should hold off on that. Although, I don't know where to go from here, actually, because I don't feel like I can, go, I can go up. I quickly prove myself wrong, of course. Thank you. I think I see a star way up there. Jet pack up. Careful there, Cosmo. Avoid the various spiky, zappy, harmful things. Are there harmful things here? That's why astronauts boldly go where no one's gone bald before. Is it just like <laughs> he's just thinking with his mouth open now. That's interesting. I thought he was just like using a computer really angrily, but no, he's he's real pensive about it. Come on! Why can't you move laterally at all with this jetpack? You would think you could. That is the completely intuitive thing to expect. And I feel I should be compensated for not getting what I was promised. Okay then, back up we go without actually worrying about any of those presents, I guess. Where is the place we're supposed to go up on? So I'm tired of improving my way up every time. Here we go. Let's go the other way. 
Need a new perspective on things. And then I get the star and then find out if that helps us get to where I want to be. And if not, then I guess we'd have to come back here later, even though I'm not especially excited to do that with how platforming is being on this level. That is what it is. And even though I'm not going to try to get on the crowns in any capacity, it would be nice to at least get most of the other collectibles. some pride in my ability to get up here. Oh, there's invisible ceiling? Seriously? Why would you do that? Okay. I'm gonna cut the episode here. No, I'll give another five minutes. In that case... Discover that the guy doesn't even react to me. Sure, John Slim more like what I did just now, I guess. In that That's right. The Cosmo Detector. And it would be a first. Gamma rays make Eugonium become solid. That's good. Of course. You can't walk on a Eugonium floor unless it's solid. Doesn't have to be visible though, as we found out. One bucket of gamma rays coming up. That doesn't sound safe, Cosmo. I mean, they would disappear pretty quickly. Bioluminescence. Inside the suit will protect you from side effects and traces of nuts. Good thing fairies aren't affected by harmful radiation. That's why we don't tan. Can I just be like really. Oh. Doesn't always work? I'm trying to go now. No, bring it back up there. I want to use the jetpack. Because I think I can actually get to those presents. This game, though, you don't need more things that warp the screen. I guess I kind of overstate how much I'm annoyed by that, since I actually don't have any issues with, like, being nauseated by that or anything, but I imagine there are people that do have such problems. Ha! <laughs> Good jump. I was getting all... Overconfident, I guess, about my ability to. Is there really only one platform on this side? That's interesting. On this level? No, there are two. I'm a bit overconfident about my ability to jump really late after running. Oh, you can even. Well, you can just drop down from there. Instead of doing what I was trying to do. I'll give this one more shot, and if this doesn't work, then we can do it. In a more obvious way. Why? Why would you do that to me, game? It's so close. Oh, hello. Secrets. Haha, video. No video has escaped me so far, I don't think. Well, Burbank at least. Game's telling me where to go in here. And this is a big secret area, too. Oh, jeez. Don't get stuck in there. I guess it doesn't actually really tell you where to go. I don't think you can really move around in here. It's interesting seeing the inside there, though. No, I don't think there's anything to do in here otherwise. Other than just picking up lots of coins. Because so I'm guessing what happened in the previous level, for instance, was there was some area like this one that I missed. That is cool. I, I appreciate sure when some kind of secret like that feels rewarding. Hey, 
Anyways, I'll cut the episode here after we pick up. Finally. This present here. Hello. There you go. Hey, guard. You could fit the word you could retain it on there, I guess. That was interesting. I actually got to dive off the platform. Anyways, though, I'll see you guys next time, next episode, when we um, do gamma ray things, I guess. Whatever that entails. Everyone.